This brings up the, uh, the, that whole issue of, of uh, abstraction as opposed to realism that, that the Europeans have been jumping up and down about since it for, for over 100 years. <laughs> yeah. What's, the abstract part uh, are, are, the, are the references to humans and monkeys because that's abstract because that's not really, what we're seeing is not really there. What, mm -hmm. uh, the concrete part, the real part, are, are, the, are the gestures that have uh, no presence before us except as gestures. Uh, advocates of pure non-objective abstraction say that their work is the real work, it, it, yes. is, is real. And that uh, if somebody paints a picture of something, that something isn't there, a picture of it is there. And the picture has been in fact invented. So, uh, so Well, this has been going on for a long time. I mean, it's not right. a pipe, right? Um, but it's also, I don't think that I actually believe in abstraction. And I think that's part of what's happening also. Um, I think that, and I know that what you see is entirely differently from what I see. Mm -hmm. And what I see is entirely different from anyone in this room. Right. Yeah, you bring your own set of stuff into it. Right. And that colors everything that you see. So who's to say that they don't really in a snowstorm look like that. Right. I mean. Exactly, or, or, or a paint storm actually. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I have a splatter room in my house. A, spl a, splatter, a splatter room. room. <laughs> Separate from the studio? Yes, sounds ominous, doesn't it? <laughs> ominous in a good way, <laughs> <laughs> so far. Well, that brings me to that painting, that's the, the square painting right over there, yes. where, the, uh, where the, quote, realistic aspects are articulations of, this, of the drips, of the splash. <laughs> yes. I mean, that, I, that is a quintessential statement about abstraction, quote, unquote, and realism, mm -hmm. quote, unquote. Because what's real is the abstract, it is, is abstract, and thus what's abstract must be real as well. The, uh, I mean, it, everybody makes a big deal over those, uh, those brush strokes that Roy Lichtenstein rendered right. in his cartoon style. But, and, and they posited a positive negative as, uh, concept, you know, the, the brush strokes are abstract, but this is a depiction of the brush strokes, which, uh, with a depiction that is, quote, real. Here, the, uh, the, the process of abstraction and the process of, of, uh, of depiction happen, happen in this, exactly the same space, and uh, there is an almost complete erasure of boundary between what's real and what's, uh, what's abstract. Messing with you. <laughs> well, look closely at that. Look closely at that one. That that's that that is either the first painting you should look at in this show or the last. What, what would you say? I think the last because I think it's going there. In other words, this is this is an indication of uh, where you're headed. Where I'm headed. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I think I will always have bits and pieces of hyper-realism. It's just that they're going to come about not because I place them inside, but rather because something inside the abstraction already is indicative of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that's where it's going. <laughs>